in baptism will return them to normalcy. They are not sick per se. If they only confess and are baptized, they are healed. The same thing happens with those in prison. If they confess their sins and are baptized, they will gain their release, because they are kept there as a result of their sins. If we confess and are baptized, no matter what kind of sickness we suffer, we will be healed. There is no need embarking on any self-help ventures. The Savior has come, and all his promises are fulfilled. When you shout on Alambro Lambro Lambro I am not the doer of this work. Many people claim to heal. If somebody receives from you two, five, or one thousand naira for doing the work, he is overshadowed with darkness. That is the problem which many people here face. Many people complain there is some secret in brotherhood. But there is no basis for such complaint. Once you confess and you are baptized, your problems are solved. The same holds true for every person. Going to the Bethel to receive prayers is an act of unbelief. It is your unbelief that makes you sick. Where will you go to? Knock your head on the ground, your father is alive. Since it is his promise, when you pray, he will solve your problem. The only condition you should not commit any act of sin. All those who are prepared to serve God, should always move forward. Do not turn back. Do not commit fornication again. Fornication defiles the body. Stealing contaminates you. Doubt is your problem. When prayers are offered, you open your eyes, and question the source of power. You keep your eyes open to observe when that man will emerge from that river. Doubt is your problem. If you were to believe God does everything, and so, you surrender yourself to God, resting assured, his promises are true, you would neither be sick, nor have any encumbrances. If you conceive in your heart Alamba has done this work, you have failed. That is your downfall. I am not the doer of this work. Wherever you are, it is the promise of God to those who are the children of God. Those who have surrendered themselves completely unto him have no problems. If you are one of those who serve him it is not of your making. It is the fulfillment of his word, his servants shall serve him. Do not therefore boast about it. Can you realize where else you fall? All of you here have come to benefit yourselves. Nobody has come to serve him. You have come to receive, and take to the world for yourself glorification. None of you seek for God's own glory. Note, it is stated, his servants shall serve him. For now, what prevents you from serving God? Do you not see, how you are shining as the sun in your father's kingdom? This is the time for us to serve and glorify him. This year, 1987, is a peculiar year, because the children of God do great works to uplift the father's name. It is a given we should do no less than glorify God. Do not seek for your own glory, or for the glory of any other person. Let us all from this year on glorify God. If we do, what prevents us from benefiting from him? This gospel is given to all the inhabitants of the world, so you may always realize the promise of God. I do not intend to overload you, the second lesson will now be read. Listen attentively so you may hear, what he had promised to humanity. Second Bible Lesson, Matthew chapter 13 verses 41 to 43. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Brethren have you heard that? When you are walking, people complain you do not walk alone. It is true. In your house there is a guard. In your car, there is a guard. An angel is taking charge of your farm. Whoever points at you, and attempts to obstruct you, the angels will eliminate them immediately. This explains, why people complain, they are disturbed by brotherhood members. You innocently wonder what you do to them, when you do not even pray. But in spite of your innocence, there are incessant cries by people, of brotherhood's attempt, to kill them. You are not the one. He knows himself and the angels know their work. You are given guards and for this reason you have no problems. Continue doing good, speaking the truth, pronouncing no curses. Do not lie, nor steal, nor quarrel, nor begrudge anybody, but continue doing whatever good thing that there is, because we have protection. You heard about the Briton, who followed after members of Brotherhood in London, accusing them of worshipping a black man. Brethren arrived at Mill Hill Bethel without responding to his abuses, and he turned back. The Brethren did not give any response. That night God revealed himself to the man. 
Because of this revelation, he now wears white suit on, and more to this, he has resigned his appointment. He is now a full-time missionary, and he claims he has seen the God whom he wanted. All persuasions he should try to continue with his former work proved abortive. He maintains there is virtually no need, because he has seen God. He now serves God with dedication. If you were to hearken to the instructions of God, and not to the flesh, and not be involved in either pronouncing woe on people, or blaspheming the name of God or fighting, but instead, you forsake everything, you will witness the manifestation of God's promise. Our Lord Jesus Christ had promised, he would remove all those who sin, all those things that cause offense, and cast them into a furnace of fire. Then the children of God will shine in their Father's kingdom. If a governor, president, commissioner, or other government functionaries, have bodyguards how much more the children of God. For now a good many people, and those who know themselves do not speak evil against brotherhood, neither do they persecute members, because they know the consequence. Except for a foolish person, there is nothing like blasphemy against brotherhood. When you come here with foolishness, your foolishness will live after you. You are true witnesses to all the calumnies against brotherhood, and the work done by our Lord Jesus Christ. It is neither done by Obu, nor by me, nor by you, nor by any other person. He had promised, the Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that do offend, and they which do iniquity. Whoever attempts to hinder a person from the services of God, will be confronted by angels. It is not of your making, but it is time to give God the glory. Who hinders you from serving God? Whoever wants to serve God, the way is wide open for them to do so. You are given this as the last warning. If you see any person who wants to serve God, do not hinder him, do not cause any problems for him, so you may not wound yourself. This statement is made by our Lord Jesus Christ to me, and to you, and to all the inhabitants of the world. When you want to hinder your wife, child, or any member of your family, who wants to serve God, remember the gospel of today. You, who want to constitute yourself into a stumbling block, so your brother may fall, remember this gospel. You call yourself a brotherhood, but are you not a stumbling block to your own brother? Have you not defamed him? Have you not made trouble with him? In the past you used to complain, God does not react very quickly, but now, he sends his angels to remove immediately everything that offends. Because this is the time, when the righteous has to shine forth as the sun day. The sun does not shine like you. Wherever you go to, your illumination brightens the whole place. If you wear this garment to the market, into a car or two, wherever you go, the people will shake. Brethren can you not release, right now there is no fear again for the children of God. If you cannot serve God, you have yourself to blame, because there is no stumbling block in the way of serving God. Do not quarrel again with any person. Do not tell lies. Do not take any court action against any person. We all have a right to serve him. Whoever wants to serve him is free to do so, because there is no hindrance. Whoever wants to obstruct you from serving God, will injure himself. You are not responsible for this. You do not know how it comes about. He alone knows about all. Brethren, we should give glory to Jehovah God and his Christ, because all his words have been fulfilled. People killed Peter and the other prophets of old. They even killed the Christ. And since they cannot do anything to brotherhood, they now say it is not of God. They also say, we are wearing God as a mask. I ask them also to put on God as a mask and do the work we are doing. You can't see, there is no evil thing any person can do, because angels are protecting you. If you tell someone there is nothing in brotherhood, he will not believe you. He maintains there is something. What is there apart from what you are seeing? Brethren, let the golden text be read, so you may realize the fulfillment of the promise of God. Golden text, Matthew chapter 19 verses 28 and 29. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. That is the promise of God for all the inhabitants of the world, whether you are a white man, or a black man, or colored, whenever you surrender yourself into the service of